What's going on guys, it's your boy Siobhan here back with a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 50 free iOS 12.4 jailbreak tweaks. I'll have all the tweak links and everything down below in the description, so if you guys can't find it, please comment and let me know because I'll try my best. First up, we have simple passcode buttons. Now, this is a simple tweak that hides the letters and numbers on the passcode buttons. So, when I show you guys right here, there's no letters or numbers on the passcode buttons, and that's simple passcode buttons. Next up, we have shy labels. Now, this hides the app icon labels themselves while not in use and they will appear when you start scrolling again and hide after you stop. Next up we have shy page dots. The page dots will hide themselves when not in use and they will appear when you start scrolling again or whenever you're done they'll just go back into hiding. Next up we have new grid switcher. Now this city tweak brings the iPad style grid based multitasking screen to the iPhone allowing you to see up to four apps on the screen at once and I think it looks really cool. Speaking about cool, this is cool CC. Cool CC removes the background from the modules and adds a border as you can see. While we're in the control center, I'm also going to show you Quick CC. Quick CC expands the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity just by sitting in the control center. So if I hold down on the Wi-Fi option right here, it will show the nearest Wi-Fi that I connect to and same thing with the Bluetooth. Next up we have Real CC. Now Real CC actually disables the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functions from the control center rather than just temporarily disabling them. Next up we have Sugarcane. Now Sugarcane adds a percentage to the brightness and the volume knobs in the control center giving you a more precise options while turning up or turning down brightness or volume. Next up we have power module. This is an all-in-one CC module for any IO options in the control center and as you can see we have it down here. Is either we could respring, we could reboot the cache or reboot our devices entirely. Next up we have whoops. Now whoops is basically if you want to send something and you change your mind you have three seconds or more depending on the settings to cancel that message and change your mind. Next up we have stick around. Now stick around simply allows you to pin cells in the settings app by swiping to the left. So for example as you can see I pin my camera settings up here. Normally it would not be up there but just as I said before all you have to do is just swipe to the left and then you could pin something or if you want to unpin it you just swipe to the right. I mean, you just swipe to the left again. My bad. Next up, we have pencil charging indicator, and this brings the iPad style charging indicator for your Apple Pencil over to your iPhone. So if I plug this in, you can see Chevron's iPhone charging with the battery percentage and everything. Looks really cool in my opinion. Up next, we have size finder. Now size finder shows the app size icon when in, when in wiggling mode as you can see and don't worry guys if you want to delete you still could go ahead and delete just hit the the megabytes or, or gigs or whatever and then it will bring up the delete options now jumping on over to the camera app guys I've marked favorites and this allows you to mark multiple photos as favorites at once within the photos app which you can't normally do with stock iOS as you can see I just marked all this as favorite if you want to unfavorite them simple as that Next up guys we have force in picture which basically brings a picture in picture feature to iOS and this is not available on the YouTube app only in like Safari and stuff like that but it's still pretty cool because you could go ahead watch videos while browsing your iPhone not ideal on a SE but probably for an iPhone 6, 7 and up so yeah pretty cool you could put it in the corner if you want you could pull it out still browse your phone do whatever you've been doing while watching videos in the background next up guys we have snapper 2 i'm not sure if it's free but i think i got it for free i don't know how i, I might have a pirate repo not sure but i'll leave the links down below in the description basically if you take a screenshot with this guys you could literally highlight where you want to screenshot double tap it you could stick this onto your screen for however long you'd want to so if someone sends you a phone number or anything and you just want to highlight it you could just save it right there or if it's an address and you just want to keep it there or if it's a shopping list a grocery list anything of that sort and then you could just simply go here to close it you could go here to close and save 
or you could hit more to share with friends or social media. Next up guys we have nude keys and nude keys removes all the borders icons and everything from a keyboard and give it a sleek look and you could also change the gradient and everything within the settings of the tweak. While we're on the topic of keyboards we also have blurred which is basically just a dark mode for your keyboard on iOS 12. Still on to the keyboards and everything we have smooth cursor. Now smooth cursor brings this nice smooth animation when typing as you can see look at the cursor it looks really nice really delicious and that's because of smooth cursor. No slow animation speeds up animations on your device you could go into the settings for this tweak and I jump into the settings as you can see you have faster to slower you could play around with the speeds and this basically puts your device on Usain Bolt mode and everything is just really snappy and I definitely recommend it. Next up we have Millier and everybody knows that the volume HUD on iOS 12 and below is super in like really disgusting it blocks up your entire screen so Millier allows you to have this iOS 13 style volume HUD you know really discreet on the side you could also rearrange the icon if you want to put it on the right left anywhere you want you could resize it and I think it's the best one out there highly recommend it next up guys we have down locker 2 and if you put your device face down it will lock it as you can see my device is locked I'm just show you again unlocked face down it's locked really cool tweak just in case your girlfriend wants to like check your phone you just put it down you know what I'm saying next up guys we have a tweak called silent screenshot simple tweak that like when you take a screenshot it's silent and you could also change the color of the screenshot if you want to and I think that's really cool another simple tweak we have for you guys is called no sim alert and basically if you don't have any sim card on your device you would always get this annoying pop up saying hey there's no sim so basically that sim alert will no longer be there with the tweak called no sim alert better shutdown gives us more options while shutting down our device we have options to reboot respring or simply power off boulders is a tweak that gives full screen folder option which looks kind of clean it also shows us how many apps you have installed in this folder and i kind of like it it's a full screen folder um widget and it looks really cool. Next up guys if you're really looking at my icons you can see that the badges are the same colors as the app icon and that's because of color me badges. Next up guys we have Instagram plus plus. Now Instagram plus plus allows us to have dark mode on Instagram. We could save videos, we could repost stuff just from the feed and it has some ads on it but overall I love this because you could literally save the same images from Instagram just by holding down and saving the pictures. Another tweak we have for you guys is called iCleaner Pro. Now this allows us to clean up cache files just from here. If you have any troubleshooting issues, you could come into here to figure out what tweak is having an uh, issue with your like conflicting tweaks, stuff like that. And I definitely recommend this if you're running low on storage. You could clean up so many cache files, you could free up up to five gigs. Another one of my favorite tweaks is called buy separator cells and this removes the space between cells system wide on your iOS device so as you can see there's no more lines running through my settings because of buy separator cells. Also you guys must be wondering Siobhan how's your icons like growing like that and that's because of cask. Now cask allows you to have a different style while swiping up and down through modules you can change it to fade, slide and to me it looks really cool another one of my favorite tweaks is called YouTube tools now this allows you to get basically YouTube premium features basically for free so if you're watching a video right here guys and I go into the background as you can see you could still hear the music in the background which is really cool they have more settings you could play around with and that is YouTube tools Another must have tweak guys is called cylinder which gives the icons an effect while swiping between pages so for example I use burst you can also randomize them so yeah that's basically cylinder different animations while swiping between apps cube inside and yeah it's really cool. Next up guys we have PM really and this is for anyone that always set the wrong alarms so if you want to set an alarm for basically like 6 p.m. It will ask you do you really want to set this for 6 p.m. because who wants to wake up at 6 p.m. you probably wanted to set it for 6 a.m. so yes save and you're good to go 
Next up guys we have record anywhere and this basically allows you to screen record while your device is locked. Another one of my new favorite tweaks is called haptic feedback and this enables haptic feedback when you push any buttons on your iPhone. So literally if you push the power button you could feel it vibrate while typing on the keyboard you could feel your phone vibrating and even if you don't have like a haptic feedback engine in your eye device it would still rec replicate it by using the vibration motors already installed in the device another tweak out for you guys is called label changer you probably can't see it right now but it allows you to change your icon label in every single way so for example you want to change the app icons you could do that you can literally flip the icons, you could also add photos to the icon and you could change the name from anything to whatever you want. Next up guys we have home gesture. Now this allows you to have iOS 10 style gestures on any iDevice. So to invoke the control center, top right, swipe down, switch between apps, just like that. While in apps you could switch just like iPhone X. And yeah, that's really cool. How many times I'm gonna say that's really cool? I don't know, but let me get a that's really cool counter down below in the comments. Okay guys, now jumping on to Cydia, we have Tweak Count 2 and this will show you how many packages or basically tweaks you have installed in Cydia. While we're in Cydia, we're gonna look at Tweak Compatible. Now this will show if the tweaks will work with the current version of iOS, as you can see the tick beside of it. So if you have anyone right here, you can see quiet down, you don't really see a tick beside it, that means it probably won't work with iOS 12. So anyone with the tick beside of it means that it's verified and will work with iOS 12.4. While we're still in Cydia, we also have Swipe for More. Now this adds more features to Cydia, so if you have something you want to remove, you could just swipe here. You could add it to the queue, the remove queue, keep swiping and you could just basically get more stuff you want to remove in the queue just like that without have to be coming out and respringing every minute next up guys we have dune now dune is a system mode, not really system wide but it's a dark mode free dark mode for iOS 12 it, ha it adds a dark mode folder so if you look at my folders you could see it's dark my notifications is also dark that's because of dune and I'll definitely recommend you to pair this up with Eclipse Eclipse isn't free, but Eclipse Dark Mode will have like a system-wide dark mode and that's what I'm using for my settings right now. So let me just show you guys Dune real quick. This is Dune, completely free. As you can see, you could dark mode your notifications, notifications, widgets, 3D touch menus, folders, your dock, and also your keyboard and search bar. Next up guys, we have Drag Enabler. Now this enables the iPad drag and drop feature onto any iOS device. As you can see, just like this, I could drag anything over to my notes. For example, I have this file right here, drag it onto my notes. I could literally save it right there. And if I want to go back into it, simply click it, it will bring me back to the file or the direct link. I don't know if you guys were noticing, but this is a tweet called live safari and it makes the safari icon act as if it's a real compass so while turning as you can see the safari icon is literally turning I'm not sure if this drains battery life but it's really subtle and cool and I think you guys would like it the red arrow is always pointing to the north next up guys we have snowboard and snowboard is a theming engine used to get themes so if you guys didn't know, Snowboard is free in studio, you could go ahead and download it. And the tweak that I'm using on Snowboard is called Muse 4. Next up guys we have Placeholder. Now Placeholder allows you to place any random icon between the apps that don't have an icon. So if you have tweaks that don't have an icon, it would normally be blank, but Placeholder adds for example, cast it just adds that little um, hand tool right there and it look, makes everything look unified and neat. Next up guys, we have Mixture XI and this basically changes based on the rhythm of the music or the bass. So if the bass is really pumping, you have the waveform effects and it's just something really visual pleasing to look at. Last but not least guys, we have Wi-Fi Password. Now Wi-Fi Password will basically show the pa Wi-Fi password for any Wi-Fi that you've already been connected to. So yeah, that's really cool because iPhones doesn't allow you to see the Wi-Fi password even if it's your Wi-Fi you want to check the password. So basically you just come into this app, you see literally all the Wi-Fi passwords you've been connected to and 
that's that wraps up the video guys i hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts down below in the comments what more videos on the is 12 jailbreak you want me to do and always guys love peace and tweaks sign out